everybody, today I'm going to be talking about received pronunciation and the reason I've chosen this topic to talk about in this video is, well, since I'm doing English A-level, I've come across received pronunciation and I just find it quite interesting how it differs from my own uh, dialect and I just thought it'd be interesting to compare how I say words compared to how someone of RP would speak. So, if for those of you who don't know what RP is, it's received pronunciation. So, uh, people sometimes refer to it as uh, the Queen's English because the Queen speaks in RP. So, yeah, it's quite funny. Um, I got it from this website. I'll put the link in the description. It's amazing. So, basically, it's loads of posh people <laughs> speaking with certain vowel sounds. So first we're going to be looking at the front vowels. I'm, I'm going to compare each word as it goes along to how I would say it. Men. Man. Hand. Hand. Crimp. Cramp. Thanks. Thanks. Angry. Angry. Thank that mad man. Thank that mad man. I think it's interesting because the A sounds almost resemble the E sound. Also, it kind of sounds Australian. I think that's more the person speaking it than the accent. It just sounds like Australian to me. The second one is more posh-like, so... Post. Post. Tone. Tone. Soap. Soap. Show. Show. So. So. Lonely. Lonely. Don't go so slowly. Don't go so slowly. Okay, I think in terms of the sounds there, pretty much the same, apart from lonely was a bit lonely, as I would probably say lonely, with an I kind of sound. Now we're going to do this one. Quickly. Quickly. Partly. Partly. Barley. Barley. Picky. Picky. I'm really very sorry. I'm really very sorry. <laughs> I just love the voices, they're amazing. Okay, now back of vowels. Um, okay. Couch. Couch. House. House. Allow. Allow. Now. Now. Voucher. Voucher. How now, brown mouse. How now, brown mouse. Okay. Bus. Bus. Duck. Duck. None. None. Money. Money. Rough. Rough. Fun-loving mums. Fun-loving mums. Shot. Shit. Bard. Bird. Turn. Turn. Curl. Curl. Word. Word. Was. Worse. Firstly return the shot, sir. <laughs> Firstly return the shit, sir. The one word which I definitely would never say is shit, how she said it, I can't even repeat it for you because it was quite weird how she said it. Wa. Wire. Ta. Tire. Admire. Admire. Far. Fire. La. Liar. Flower. Flower. Ta. Tower. Pa. Power. Sha. Shower. I admire the pa sha. I admire the power sha. I love the examples, they're amazing. So interestingly, I kind of add an ER sound at the end of like wire, tire, as she says, wa, I don't know, it's just, it seems soft, it doesn't seem as, as powerful as I say it, new, new, you, you, boot, boot, soup, soup, glue, glue, who knew you, Sue, who knew you, Sue, right, so that was pretty similar, I found, um, I do tend to, for example, boot. I may have a clear kind of T sound at the end of my word. Now, this is more of just sentences and this is intonation and voice. So just listen first. Oh, that's absolutely wonderful. Oh gosh, it's simply ghastly. Ghastly. One does need a decent horse. Wonder. What a ghastly man. Do be quiet. Let's get some champagne. So I think something interesting with that is how they use fillers. So there's lots of ah, oh, which kind of, you don't really hear them saying uh, 
do you? So maybe that's one common thing with RP. Noticeably the, as the next one's quite high pitch, okay, that one doesn't seem to be working. So it's interesting, as I live, I wouldn't say in the north, but <laughs> sounds like Game of Thrones, in the north, um, there, there is a clear divide between kind of London area and where I'm from, uh, Nottingham. So there's, as for example, some people from London may say Bath, as people I'm from may say Bath, or um, Bast, Fast, uh, there's that kind of almost an R sound, as I said earlier. I just think it's really interesting and yeah I just wanted to, to do a video on this like interesting to see the differences between RP and where I'm from so I know um, mine isn't exactly too slangy. The one bad thing I guess about RP is uh, even though it's clear English it can sometimes be it's impersonal I find because if someone used fast or master like it just sounds a bit it, it's like so correct it's awkward as I guess in some cases if you have an accent it can be quite nice and I don't know like there was an advert um with Cheryl Cole in and I think we're analyzing in English about how they have her do, uh, do the advert because of her accent as it makes it seem friendlier and maybe that wasn't the case let's say 100 years ago maybe it was kind of seen as more of a tough kind of rough kind of it wasn't it was more frowned upon accents but nowadays I think that accents which aren't standard standard English standard English isn't as powerful it used to be I believe but yeah I think it's quite interesting and yeah so uh see you guys next time bye